Good morning friends. It's a great pleasure to meet you again on this wonderful morning. Today I want to tell you something what our Lord Jesus Christ himself spoke. It is a wonderful word which is written in the Holy Bible. It is from Matthew chapter 6 verse 6. It says, I would like to read it for you my dear friends. But you, when you pray, go into your room. When you have shut your door, pray to your father who is in the secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. This is that wonderful word what Lord Jesus Christ has spoken to every one of us. In continuation of this, Lord Jesus is teaching us how to pray. God has told many things, many instructions, but one important thing he has done is that he has taught us exactly how to pray and how God is answering. There is a very big question nowadays in our mind. Does Lord God hear our prayer? Is my prayer is clear? Today we are going to see how the Lord is listening to our prayer. I already a funny story. I just want to share that uh, story with you. You know, once God created the whole world and he was taking rest. As he was taking rest, a ant, a small tiny ant, that ant rushed to God and said, how can you take rest? And God said, I am very tired. I have created this whole world and now I want to take some rest. And said, how is this possible? All your creations are great. Everything is fantastic. Look unto the elephant. He is having a big task, big huge body and looks majestic. Look unto the lion. He is the king of this forest. Look unto the leopard. Leopard is spotted very fast. Look unto the peacock. Beautiful feather. Look unto cuckoo. It is singing with a beautiful voice. Everybody is appreciating. Look unto the deer. It is so sweet to see with beautiful horn. But what have you done to me? So ant was pleading unto God. So God said, uh, what's wrong with all these things? Everything is fine. Okay, uh, no problem. What's your uh, issue? Tell me. Ant said, when I bite, should die. So this was the prayer of ant. So God said, so nothing problem. Granted. So the ant was very happy and it was uh, walking on its way. When it was going on the way, he found a man sleeping. So this ant uh, said, oh you man, I am going to bite you and you are going to die. You know this ant went near that man who was sleeping and it went and bit the man. As it bit, that man got up and with one uh, blow, he killed the ant and it died on the spot. Now what happened, you know? The spirit of the ant, it is dead. The spirit of the ant, it went to God and it pleaded, what God you have done? What I prayed and what you have done? So God said, yes, you prayed that when I bite should die, so you are dead. So, and said, what is this God? I have not asked like this. If I bite the person whom I am biting, he should die. That's my prayer. But the prayer was not clear. The story may look very funny, but my dear friends, we need to pray in a very clear manner, not with the unwanted words. We should have a clear intention, my dear friends. Today, many of us we don't have the clarity of prayer what we are praying for. We should not pray like a Pharisee and we are supposed to pray like the tax collector. Jesus himself has given this wonderful example. We are not here to boast to God that I am so and so what I am doing this Lord, I am doing that Lord. No, but rather humble yourself and plead unto God and the God who created you he knows your need. He knows your requirement. 
and you know the greatest privilege what god has given to us is that he asked us he he considered us as his own son god has given us the privilege to call him as abba father so how do you ask to your father if you need anything he will go and ask appa i want a pencil appa i want a pen i want a dress i want bike so you will ask uh, with your uh, full right that is the privilege you are having the inheritance similarly when you go to the god you god says you you ask unto god as your good relation with full intention with a clear heart and mind and the essential thing what you need in this world so many people are there you know but many people don't have the things what you are having god has given us sufficient things but still in this world many poor people are there they don't have anything even for nothing to eat for the next time so in this time first of all we should give thanks to all what god has provided to us and let us not pray like that ant but let us have a sincere prayer and say lord these are my requirements my dear friends god is able to provide you what you want in the right time in a right way and when we ask with the clarity in the presence of god god is definitely going to answer your prayer my dear friends so thank you very much with these words i would like to sign off for this day and tomorrow i will meet you with a new guidance god bless you